Hola, soy Cristina Pato. Hello, I'm Cristina Pato, the bagpiper and pianist for Silk Road, and I'm going to introduce you some of my best friends uh, when we are on the road. Os voy a presentar a mis mejores amigos cuando estamos de gira. We're going to start right here, right here with these two guys, and I'm just going to ask you guys to introduce yourselves and tell us what you do for the ensemble. Hi, I'm Jody Elf, and I do audio for the ensemble for a long time. So if you're sitting in the concert hearing the the show, you're probably listening to my contributions. Hey, I'm Eli Walker, and I also do audio for the ensemble, but on the other side, on the stage, for the performers. So the music and the mixes that they're hearing are from me. And Silk Road is such a unique combination of instruments that our work would be impossible to be showcased or even able to perform together if it wasn't because of these two guys. So they are as members of the ensemble as any of the musicians in here. And I just wanna say gracias de corazón for <laughs> everything that you're doing and for making us sound amazing all the time. So thank It's you. a lot of fun to play along. It's happy to be here. Such gracias. A <laughs> okay, come with me, come with me, come with me. And now we are gonna meet, where is Ashley? Okay. Ashley, Smash hi, <laughs> come. Would you be so kind of introducing yourself to my Facebook Live? Hi, Facebook Live. I'm Ashley, the stage manager for the sport. And what do you do? What does the stage manager do? Oh, gosh. Um, well, I come in during load-in and tell everyone where to set everything, pretty much. We have our, our platform. I say, this is where the platform goes. This is where I want the carpets. Um, essentially, I, I lead the crew. Um, I decide where all the chairs and the stands go uh, and the spacing. I try to put myself in the perspective of each musician and like I will literally sit in the chair and be like, is this the right distance? Is this what they feel comfortable with? I'll, I'll sit at Christina's piano bench and be like, can I make eye contact with these people at this angle? Um, and then throughout the day, I make sure everyone stays on time. We're following the schedule. Uh, I create all of the shift sheets, so I run all of the transitions between pieces and lead the crew, train the crew on how to do that. Um, I have all sorts of weird gadgets, like these are my spike sticks. <laughs> it just it's like jewelry, I love <laughs> those, I want one of those. <laughs> it, um, spike tape, we mark exactly where everything goes so that we can keep complete consistency between um, or the rehearsal period and performances. Because again, this is such a unique combination of instruments and musicians, and there are many different uh, combinations of instruments in within the show. So the idea of being able to play those long programs with different iterations of the ensemble would be impossible if it wasn't because of our lady boss <laughs> in here. Ashley. Gracias, Ashley. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, follow me, follow me, follow me. And now we're gonna meet Adam Cobb, who is right here, next to Jeff and Nick, who are our co artistic directors. Oh, Hola, hey. Jeff. Hola, Hi, Nick. Nick. Hola. Facebook Live. Whoa, I'm nervous. <laughs> Jeff was just showing me how cool his bass is. It comes apart. Check that out. What? It's oh. a magnet. Boom, boom, boom. That's how you get around these to days. Take the neck off, and it pops back in. That's amazing. And that is the coolest bass. thing I've ever seen. So, Adam, I want to ask you what do you do? What do I do? I try to organize the chaos. How do you do to that? <laughs> I hire really good people and I let them organize the chaos. So I organize the organizers of the chaos. That's amazing. And apart from that, you make I, us look good, I also right? do the lighting design for the group. And what yes. does it mean to do the lighting design for this kind of band? Uh, for this kind of band? Oh, well, I want it to look dramatic. I want people to look good. Uh, I don't want it to look like a rock show because it's not a rock show. So I try to strike a happy medium between what you do in a concert hall with white concert down lighting and what a rock show would do. We land somewhere in the middle. I try to exercise good taste. Wow. And again, I just want to showcase the fact that without the proper lighting, we will not be able to perform, not only because we will not be able to see the music that we are reading, but also because the, the concert who program this guy over here, Nick, is also the person that puts the programs together. And the concert is some sort of a journey going in many different directions. And Aaron is somehow the 
the one that is helping us to tell we the story. For, we talked for many months before the concert tour about programs. Mm -hmm. Nick and Jeff and Shane and I will talk a lot about what programs are possible, what works together, what works in a given space, uh, what, what's possible with this lineup of people, uh, what percussion and other things we need as a result of doing this program. So. I've been working on this tour for, I don't know, more than a year, mm. more uh, maybe a year and a half, I don't remember. It takes a village. It does take a village. Mm. And speaking Every village of has an idiot. villages, yeah. thank you guys, thank you gentlemen, <laughs> we're going to meet the last one of the invisible people of this organization, and that lady over here, this is Liz Keller Tripp, our artistic administrator, and I just want to ask you, what is it that you do? Well, Aaron said something about organizing the chaos. I think I helped create the chaos <laughs> <laughs> with the musicians uh, in you know over a year of planning for a tour like this. And then when it comes time to actually head out on the road, I try to shift over to the organizing the chaos side. So bringing all of the elements of pre-planning and execution together. And I think the main difference between you and the four other people that we just met mm -hmm. is you live in the single old office. Mm -hmm. So you are pretty much every day mm -hmm. working through the challenges of having such a unique yeah. collective. And I just want to acknowledge that we will not be happening if it wasn't because of the Glue Master, <laughs> this color trip, and well, everything you. that you put in the shadow. That's very nice. It's a really hard job, but it's probably the best job there is because I get to work with all the wonderful people that everyone just met and also all of you. So there's a lot of creativity happening and I get to be a part of all that. Thank you, gracias, Thank you. Liz. And gracias. lastly, on the other side of this camera, you won't see her, but that's Jessica. Mm, and she is also <laughs> our <laughs> communications manager yeah, and is the one that is not only making this possible, but also helping us be out in the world and be able to share what we do with a bigger audience. And I just learned Florida has a 20% population of Spanish speakers. So I'm gonna finish this Facebook Live saying a few words in Spanish. Soy Cristina, soy una inmigrante a los Estados Unidos y para mí es un honor y un placer no solo formar parte de esta gran familia de Silk Road en la que todos los extranjeros son bienvenidos, sino formar parte de esta gran familia que es este país en la que en los últimos años he visto tanta alegría y tanta diversidad y tanta celebración por todas las cosas que nos unen. Así que Thank you so much and see you either tonight here in West Palm Beach or on Monday in Miami, baby. Mm -hmm.